hello everyone and welcome to another shop my stash video in today's video we're going to talk in the first part of the video we're going to talk about what was in my shop my stash last week and what i liked what i didn't like what worked for me and in the half the other half a portion of the video we're gonna go and look through my uh stash and uh, grab some stuff for this next week so let's get into it all right so let's talk a little bit about the base products that i had this week i had this one from ysl that i was trying it for the very first time i have to say i haven't seen any pore refining while i'm using while i was using this one i i can't say my face was very matte either it was more a little bit more hydrating didn't feel like silicone it didn't feel like a poor filling type of uh, primer um i don't know what to say it, it really d does not do what it says to it does but it's not a bad primer i mean it does make my foundation last longer it does look beautiful on the skin it's just not poor filling or matte mattifying for that reason so i'm not i'm not sure how this is promising that one is not doing that so um, that's that about that the foundation from fenty beauty did really enjoy it you know by now i do like the eavesdrop i have mine in 11 also this one i haven't used it that much i think once or twice and uh, this one from huda beauty is one of my favorite one and i do really enjoy it and it worked really nice with this primer actually and then i had this one from uh, charlotte tilbury this is in medium i do really enjoy this one as you can see i have a big uh pan in it and i um, pretty sure i'm gonna finish it out but then i also pulled the neutrogena one because i um, i had some dark circles um some of these days and i needed a little bit more coverage so i added this one on top so we'll take all these out Now let's talk about the uh, blush bronzer all the things that i had this week i had this one from charlotte tilbury this is the magic powder under eye and face for some reason this one did not work that great for me this uh this week for my under eyes especially i don't know why it just kind of made my eyes a little bit cracking i am not sure what's going on i do get my lines are getting a little bit more defined now, so I'm not sure if it's that or it's just the makeup. I'm not quite understanding yet, but uh, yeah, it was a little bit too much for my under eyes. For the entire face, wasn't a problem, but for my under eyes, it was a little bit too much. Uh, this one I do like. I really do enjoy it. I love it, but I'm going to put it back in. This one, I actually take it, took it out because... The Rare Beauty, the new Rare Beauty one, uh, which, by the way, is in Love Blush, I don't like it. I think this is a very patchy, uh, weird-looking <laughs> um, blush. I do not like it. I try to apply it with a, bl uh, with a brush, and also I try to apply it with a sponge. I tried applying it on top of powder. I tried applying it... Uh, on top of foundation it did not work either way i tried it a multiple ways every single day trying to figure out how to play with this and i do not like it i don't know what are you supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it but the way i tried it and all the situations that i tried it i did not like it so when yeah, i tried something so many times in so many ways and it still doesn't work that means there's a problem with this product because what the hell do you have to be an expert to be able to get this right like i don't get it so i love the color i just don't like the application it's very very patchy so that's why i put the alme one in um like at the middle of the week i said you know what I'm, i need a better i need something a blush that actually performs so i pulled this one out from alme which i really do love and this one it is in um 20 mauve and then also i had the glowish by uh huda beauty and tan light the luminous uh 
pressed powder. I really do enjoy this one when I was applying it over top of this one because this one is a little bit more drying. So I was bringing that more natural looking, uh, vibrant, youthful look by applying this one on top. I really did enjoy that. And then, of course, I had this one from uh, Butter Bronzer, which I still haven't finished it. Um, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it in my empty zest finish because I think it's I've used it enough I would say and then of course I had this one from Too Faced the Cocoa Contour really love this I adore this thing and uh, I'm gonna put it back but yes I've used it I've used it all week long I really do enjoy this one okay, so now let's talk about the Dior products that I had some of the Dior products that I have uh, I really do enjoy this mascara. If I would choose between this one and this one, I would go with this one, the Dior Show. I really do like this mascara. It's so, so nice for my very sensitive eyes. It doesn't give me any problems, no problems whatsoever. Very easy to take it off. Very voluminizing, not very lengthening, so keep that in mind, but very voluminizing, and it does not look like a spider leg you know it's so pretty so natural so beautiful i i really do enjoy this one and this one is a little bit more i would say a little bit less um voluminizing so because of that i do not like it as much as i like this one but both of them in combination, both of them, they look really nice. But if I would choose one, I would go with this one. I'm going to keep both of them for this week as well in Shop My Stash. The two liners um, that I had, the black and the blue one, I really do enjoy both of them. I would not go as far as like spending a lot for these two. But they're really nice ones. Pretty normal. Yeah, they do long. They are long lasting. But not necessarily anything that impressive that I would say you need to go and buy these immediately. You know what I mean? They're just like two good liners. I'm going to keep uh, my uh, NYX uh, Lift and Snatch Pen in Espresso. You know by now I really love this one so I'm going to keep it. Uh, this one from Benefit, I really did enjoy it. I wore it once or twice, um, and I did enjoy it, but I'm going to take it out because um, there's no need for me to have that one this week. Um, and then, of course, I have these two from uh, Dior, and I really did like how they looked on me this week. They are very beautiful and long-wearing, but they are a little bit shimmery, so keep that in mind. They're not a matte finish. They're more like a very, um, yeah, you can, as you can see, I broke it a little bit in there, but there you go, in the cap. But they are very, um, very comfortable on the lips. I really like that and very hydrating in the same time. So I have this too, which I really did enjoy it. This one, you know, by now, I absolutely love. This is the Dior um, Attic Lip Glow in 001. Very hydrating on the lips and uh, I reapply this all the, th all the time. And then I also pulled this thing out from KKW, which is that um, brightening powder in one which i really do enjoy and uh, i had it for a very long time but i'm not gonna let this one go because this is the best powder for a pick me up when i have like really dark circle where my under eye looks really gross i just apply a little bit of this and everything is being erased like magic so i really do enjoy this one this one is gonna stay in uh, my stash for next week as well these two are gonna go uh, in my drawers this one is gonna stay in my stash all right so here's the last three items that we're gonna take out of our uh shop my stash and put it back in the door this peppermint frost from jeffree star i really did enjoy all these i actually combined the ugly sweater with the chocolate eyes a lot and then i put a I glow gold by itself, so I really do like to mix and match these, and they always look really nice on the, my skin. They don't emphasize my texture at all. And then I also played with this one from uh, 
Vanessa Merrick, The Color Fix Matte. I really enjoyed this one on the eyes. It did create a beautiful look with it. I'm going to put it on, on the screen, but... Um, I don't like it on the and I don't like it as a blush because it dries down way too fast and I don't have time to like blend it to the to to how I would like it to look like. So I would not recommend this one for blush, but I do recommend it as an eyeshadow. Um and then the setting spray from uh, Jera Cosmetic is nice. I don't like the mist from this, but it is a nice uh hydrating refreshing uh mist but we'll take we're gonna take all three out all right and here's the two uh eyeshadow palettes that i've used this um this week i really do enjoy this one very beautiful amazing quality nothing else uh i wouldn't expect anything else from charlotte tilbury it is very expensive though this is like a 52 dollar eyeshadow palette so i'm not sure if it's worth 52 dollar but it is a very beautiful um eyeshadow quality and color very neutral so this is a very everyday if this is what you use every day then i would definitely go and purchase it but if you don't then i would just maybe go with the one of the big palettes because you get a better value from that it's like 75 dollars and you get way more than this you know what i mean that's just my opinion and then of course i had this one from jeffree star i did create some beautiful looks with this one some brighter some more natural neutral looks but i did have some fun with it and i'm glad i pull it out we'll put it back in and in and now let's go shopping as per usual let's start with foundations i do have one two actually foundations that i want to review this week so i only gonna choose one from here mm, i'm gonna go you know what let's let's take it out let's go with this one let's go with a good uh foundation that is one of my favorite two face born this way And for powders, um, I'm going to go with this one from NYX. The Professional Makeup Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And for my under eye, I think I'm going to go with this one from Ofra. The Banana Powder. For bronzer and blush, um let's see what we have in the back over here i do want to go with a liquid one as well so i'm gonna go with this iconic london which is sheer bronze i guess in caramel glow so we're gonna get this one as an option and then we're gonna go oh yeah i do want to go with this one from charlotte tilbury as well this is the cheek to cheek swish and pop uh blusher in ecstasy and then another bronzer that i want to go with we're gonna go with this one from um abh in cappuccino should i choose another blush um you know what let's go with this one yeah let's go with breezy peach sunset from uh Tart. primer and concealer primer i don't know what primer i think i'm just gonna go with this one i haven't used this one and i remember using it with that foundation and i really did enjoy it so we're gonna go with nyx hydro touch yeah we'll do this one and for um under the eyes i'm gonna go with this one from fenty beauty this is the bright fix in deep butter 07 and uh, i'm gonna take this thing out as well this is an eye primer from milani which is eyeshadow primer so we're gonna take this one as well and i'm gonna take this setting spray from milani make it last matte finish and here I have some highlighters and some lip products. 
um, for lip liner, because I have a few in here, I'm going to go with this one. This is from Wayne Goss, and this is in... And this is in sepia, so we're going to take this one out. And I'm going to take this one from Charlotte Tilbury out as well. This is the Glowgasm Beauty Light one, and use this one as a highlighter. And I think that's it from here. And here I have some eyeshadow petals that I want to use during the fall time. And we're going to choose from this one. I'm going to go with two again, and I'm going to go into this one. I'm going to get the I Love Sarah Heap and Dose of Color. So this is going to be one option. And another option I am uh, thinking. Let's do this one. Let's do the let's do the big one, the new one from uh, Pat McGrath, which doesn't want to come out, apparently. She's upset. <laughs> but we'll do this one the mothership mega celestial odyssey and for liners i do have some new liners in here so i want to play with this one a little bit the green one from har candy i have not tried this one yet so i'm gonna take that one out and then i'm gonna take this one from blank which is supposed to be a block liner so we'll do this one as well and for the lips, I am thinking we're going to go with this one from MAC. This is the Coffee and Sigs. So we'll do that one. And then I'm going to go with, why not, let's do one of these. This is from uh, uh, Beauty Bakery and this is the Glam Jam. Alright, so let's recap this. Um, we're going to go with NYX Hitter Touch for the primer. Born This Way Foundation in Golden. Alright, so here's how they look like. The powders for this. Uh, powders, brown, the blush, the bronzer, stuff like that for this week. I have some swatches over here. So the first one is the one from... KKW, the second one is the banana powder, the third one is the NYX powder, the fourth one is the ABH bronzer and cappuccino, the fifth one is going to be this one from here from uh, Charlotte Tilbury, which is broken, but I don't care, I'm still going to use it, so this is in ecstasy, and then right next to it, I have the uh, Glowgasm, um, and then right next to that, I have the iconic... Uh, sheer bronzer which as you can see does shears out real fast and then on top over here i do have the tarte cream blush here are the two lipstick swatch uh the one the red one that is from um, beauty bakery in jam glam and the other one is from mac and here's the swatch of that uh lip liner from uh, Wayne Goss, which I really do like. I know I love that, so I'm gonna. I'm really excited to try it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, and the rest of it, I have this one, which I really do enjoy. This one, I tried it once, and I really did enjoy it. And then, of course, the setting spray and uh, the two mascaras, the liner from uh, uh, Blink Cosmetics, and now let me show you how those two eyeshadow palettes look like. Here's the eyeshadow palette from uh, from uh, Pat McGrath, not Charlotte Tilbury, she's not here today. Um, Pat McGrath, and um, I bought this recently. I played a little bit with it, and I really think I need to go back and revisit this and just create a few more looks with it and just kind of get my overall impression if it was worth it or not. I do have to say compare with the other one that I have from her. kind of like the other one better, but we'll see. I'm going to try to play with this one a little long, longer so I can see if I really do enjoy it. And then this is how the other one looks like. I love Sarahi in collaboration with 
um, a dose of color. It's a very, very dirty one, but uh, it is very pretty, pretty, and uh, I know exactly what looks I'm going to create with this one. So here are the two. Here are all the other stuff that I have, and I cannot wait to create some nice, beautiful looks with this one. Let me know down below um which products do you have and what are you going to put in your shop your stash this week and um yeah let's see let's meet here next week and discuss about what worked for us and what didn't thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you all next time have a nice one Bye bye